What's up, LK Clan? It's your girl, Keisha Michelle. And today, before I get into the vlog, I wanted to share this amazing company called Mix Easy. It is a skincare and hair care company. And what I love about their products is that everything is natural and organic. There are no parabens, sulfates, harsh chemicals. There are no toxins, dyes, silicones, and all of that yucky stuff. They reached out to me and I chose a few of their products and I <clears throat> I've really been wanting to focus on my skin and really get my skin looking more bright and vibrant so I chose the face mask and it is a unique formula and I also chose their gentle face cleaner because I have very sensitive skin. What I also love about this company is that it is 100% customizable and after you select your products, you are allowed to choose up to five natural ingredients. After you select your ingredients, you will be allowed to select your fragrance and I chose honey and milk and you guys, it smells, it smells really good. If you are serious, serious about us, yeah Baby, your love is cold, but I don't feel the trust And because I did not use the mask in the video, I just wanted to show you guys the consistency of the mask It's very light, and I really like that so I would highly recommend that you guys give this company a try, especially since all of their products are natural and organic. That is such a great perk. And when you place your first order with them, guys, you can save 15% off by using my code LKRealityTV. And I will be sure to leave all of that information down below in the description box. Alright you guys, let's get right into this vlog. What's up LK Clan? It's your girl Keisha Michelle and my husband right here. Today mm -hmm. is Sunday and we are at the end of June. We are getting ready to enter into the month of July. And I figured that today we would vlog. I really, really, really wanted to vlog on my new camera that my husband got me for Mother's Day. But I need to get my, uh, my memory card. Like I don't know where I put my memory card that I just got. Oh, here it is. Oh, I go get my camera out the kitchen. So yeah, um, I'm getting ready to switch up. Y'all let me know the difference in quality. All right, guys, so I am here. I don't know if y'all can notice a difference or not, but it yes, it is recording. But you guys, this is me vlogging on my new camera. I'm not really sure if I have like my settings correctly set. I don't know. This is like the factory setting, but hi, hi guys, hello, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? I don't know, I don't know if I have this right. Is this right? We are getting ready to go to, we really need groceries. I really wanna go get some groceries, but I kinda wanna go clean the van out before we go grocery shopping so that when we get the groceries, we can kinda like have a little bit of space for the groceries, you know? So guys, a lot has changed, literally, since the last time I talked to y'all. So let me just update y'all a little bit or whatever. So basically, for one, our state, or is it our whole state or is it just our city, our county? We have to wear masks everywhere we go. Well, places where you can't social distance. And on top of that, guys, we are now a one car family. Would you like to give a little detail on that, baby? We are now a one car family. Is that the only detail you're gonna <laughs> Somebody hit my husband's Somebody car. Hit the Somebody hit the old Taurus bars. Somebody virus. hit the old loyal Taurus. Yes. That car didn't been good to us, good. okay? We have not had to have a car payment because of that car. Okay, in this van, and we don't really want another car payment, but so we are going to try to stick it out. Stick it out with one car for right now. Yep. I'm doing well. How are you? With car wash. Is this what you want now? Feels like. 
A revelation. But I mean, I wonder how risky that would be. Our car just gets really messy thanks to the kids. So we are going to try to vacuum the seats out and all that good stuff. It sure was, and we're gonna do this together. I want to get some stuff to clean out these little pockets because I've I have faith to believe. Hold on, I'm trying to get it to focus. Still trying to get it to focus. I have faith to believe that these can be cleaned out, and I am going to try to find something to clean out these little nasty nooks and crannies in this van. So yeah, if you have any recommendations, please link them down below. I would absolutely love to get the carpet cleaned in here. I don't know why this camera is so dark. I'm trying to figure out this lighting situation on this camera, but. We've probably been here the longest too. Yeah, but it really needed to be cleaned. And then I also need to clean out these little, what is this called, the dash? Mm -hmm. The dashboard or whatever. Um, so yeah. Our day has been. work cut out for you, dear. I know, but I really want to get it clean because it's nasty, bro. It really is nasty. I feel like this is the cleanest that this van has ever been. Because we that that suction on that vacuum cleaner was bomb. It was better than any other vacuum that we've ever used. Even the vacuum cleaner at our old apartment. But anyways, yay! I feel so accomplished. So we are actually at a car dealership. I know we said we were trying to make it work with the van with one vehicle, but in reality, hold on, I'm trying to make y'all focus. I'm I'm learning this camera. Y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to work with me here. Why do I look orange? I don't know. Hold on one second. I don't know how long it's gonna work with one vehicle. So yeah and then we're like in between trying to figure out if like okay if we do get a new car should it be like a newer bigger car or should it be like a newer smaller car for my husband i don't know but don't. he's like you know I, if we do get a new car he wants us to get a new car like family car instead of him getting one but you get a minivan no, I don't. I really, that's one thing, guys. I do not want a minivan. She keeps saying that, but. I just don't. Look, look at. 
I do not want a, I don't want a minivan. I don't want to buy a new van. Like Look this van was not It's a Denali. XL. A U Yukon or whatever. It looks kind of dusty because the windows. You? I just don't see it. You don't know what I can do, first of all. He doesn't believe that I can drive these big cars, but he don't know me. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know how long this is gonna last with us having one vehicle. Is it big in there? Oops. Actually, the expedition kind of impressed me a little bit more. Really? Mm -hmm. this is nice. How much was it? That? I don't know. That was 40. No, thank you. Mm -mm. We have never had a car payment before, y'all. Never. Never. Trying to find something good to eat. Yeah, I'm trying to find yeah. some food. Hmm? You said, can we do that? I really want like some soul food, but I want it to be healthy at the same time. What are we gonna find it at? You need to be getting over or something. I need some healthy food with soul attached. <laughs> Look guys, they're painting the street. You can't really see it, but Black Lives Matter, baby. Period. Y'all, this little theater over here is really where me and Lewis first met. You can't even see it, but I was trying to show them the street, but that's really where we first met. And that's like where that's where oh gosh i'm getting close so i'm sorry but yeah like that's where we met and we were i was a cheerleader we were still in high school he was on a drum line and we had to be in like this little play thing the crazy thing the crazy wait a minute now the crazy thing is this is how it happened guys because we didn't even meet we technically didn't meet this night we was just in each other's atmosphere right I was standing at the door and we were at rehearsal and he came in late and I was like, you a little late, ain't you? And what did you say? I, I didn't say anything. I just started laughing. Oh, he started laughing. He ignored me. I was really trying to shoot. I was trying to shoot my shot a little bit, but he ignored me, y'all. Not really. No, I wasn't. I was my, my business and I was probably in a relationship at that point. But... I think that is so cool how today you could be nothing to someone and then five years later you got a whole life with this person you know what i'm saying a whole life with this mofo and five whole kids with this mofo what was i thinking what was i thinking with this mofo we was around each other a good i do love you baby of course I do, I ain't gonna touch your face. But we were around each other like three good times before we became a thing. Is that not crazy? And you weren't even thinking about me in that way, were you? Uh, not until like the third. third time was at the mall, wasn't it? No, the first time. What was the third time? No, the, the third time was at Ham's. No. The first time was at Carolina Theater. The second time was at Ham's. The third time was at the mall. And... The fourth time was when we were at the birthday dinner. Because I think after the mall, I, we, we actually became friends on Facebook. No. I don't think so. We became friends on Facebook like after. I don't know. Well, your your page wasn't private because I remember. No, my page has never been private. But you went and looked at my pictures. After when? <laughs> I remember looking at a picture you had on this like leopard jacket and you had on makeup. And I remember that. And at that point, you still had the picture of you and your ex prom picture on there with your oversized suit. <laughs> I think that it's really crazy how that works. That's It's not crazy, but it's cool how you can just be around somebody and not even picture y'all like in a relationship or being together, you know? And now you my whole mate. <laughs> 
so we are definitely still out and about i am still in the car kids are in the back screaming but we are currently at target y'all we okay so we tried to go to a few places and oh that bump on my nose is so ugly but um we are at target right now lewis is currently in there and you guys i really just miss going in there with my family like in the most literal sense i miss going into target and walmart and all of the things of the things i miss going inside of these places with my family well, I It's been it's been over two months since we last went inside of a store together as a unit. And I know that we can go in there. The kids do have masks. Um, Logan doesn't have masks, of course, but baby's not supposed to wear masks. Exactly, but you better move these feet off my hair, boy. What is? He had to come to Target to get. I wanted some frozen fruit and some. What else did I want? Oh, some breakfast food for the kids tomorrow morning. Oh, I didn't tell you guys that I am back in school, like, on the actual campus. And um, I will be done with this particular course in about two weeks or so. So I'm really excited about that. And then after I finish the course, I have to wait, like, I got to wait, like, um, 13 days before I take the state test. So that's just a little update on that oh and i did not tell you guys this yet but we officially decided that we are going to homeschool dallas and her curriculum came in the mail like last week sometime and i'm super excited i'm thinking about doing an unboxing video um just kind of showing you guys everything that comes with her curriculum let me know down below in the comment section if that is something that you guys would like to see we are home sweet home and the kids are currently eating y'all eating whoa there buddy whoa there be careful be careful okay don't you drop him okay so we are getting ready to go to bed yet babe is in there being all smexy and stuff putting the kid getting kids ready for bed and all that good stuff what the heck are you doing stop but uh yeah 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 <sighs> so guys i am currently soaking my toes because babe wanted to rub my feet because he is just i don't know he's weird like that you like rubbing my feet babe? first of all don't you love weird. rubbing my feet you just love it he picked up this uh ice cream i'm trying to make it focus what in the world he picked this up from the store where did we get this from Target, Target? Yeah. peekaboo ice mm -hmm. cream hit with hidden veggies. You know what? I really think that this is for like little kids. <laughs> but it's got vegetables in there. I know, like, cause you know how little kids don't really like vegetables like that. It's organic cream, organic <laughs> strawberries, organic cane, sugar, organic non-fat milk, powder, organic eggs, organic carrots. Our kids organic. can't have that anyways. Okay. Somebody. But it has so yeah, it has all those we got vegetables one in there. With this one has spinach in it and I'm very interested to see what the heck this tastes like. Oh my gosh. It's good. Is it? This is the strawberry I'm with nervous. carrots in it. Okay. That's really good. You don't like it? It don't taste bad. It really doesn't. But what's the sugar in it? I bet it's a lot. What's a lot? Like anything over seventeen. Is it thirty something? 
Let me see. Okay, you gonna taste the mint one? Mm -hmm. I don't really want a lot of this. I just kind of wanted to taste it. So this is the mint one, the mint chocolate chip, and it has spinach, just spinach in it. That's really a, a good um, idea. idea for kids who don't like to eat vegetables, I guess. Is it a yay or a nay? It's a yay. It's really good. Yeah, my husband loves him some ice cream too, so. I don't like mint ice cream. You ice cream. -able. Am I ice cream? -able? You so inappropriate. I'm not really a big mint ice cream, chocolate mint. But Lewis, he loves those little shamrock shakes. Is that from like McDonald's? He be drinking them like, ew, yuck. I'm more of a butter pecan. You know, that auntie, that auntie uh, of. But y'all, I'm not gonna eat this though, cause what? I am on a what? I am on a what? I don't know. I am on a diet. That is what I'm on. I'm not eating this. How you gonna eat out of two? How you gonna eat out of two cartons of ice cream? Okay, I should definitely take this little fake anklet off. Can you take this off of my foot? Well, I'm gonna dry your foot and your ankle. And I know, but this is a fake anklet because you know you don't buy me. You don't buy me real like. <laughs> you don't buy me real like jewelry and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So basically, the move. How are you liking it here? So, so they do know. They do know we moved. To. Yeah, they know that we moved. Okay. Gosh, cool. it was so loud. So we moved to the rental, and so far it's been about a month and a half. Two going on two months. Two months, yeah. Going on two months. That's crazy. It will be two months uh, in July, and so far it's not horrible. It's not bad. It's not, it's not been great, but it ain't been bad either. For example, when we got here, it's like maybe. A, Two weeks after we got here, the AC broke down. But you have to kind of be a little logical about that. Not logical, but realistic about mm. that. When we moved here, it was a little cooler outside. So it was bearable. The temperature in the house was bearable. Then it started getting hot outside. Well, yeah. Well, see, I, even at that time, the AC wasn't really... We didn't really for sure, for sure know if the AC was out. Yeah. But when we... So when it actually started getting hot... We realized AC's definitely broken. It's yeah, not even, it's no comeback. It started getting unbearable. So, but we kind of no, knew. knew. Well, we knew that we wanted to replace it when we got here, like kind of down the line. Yeah, but, but it just came a little quicker than we wanted to. So we actually it got so hot in here that we actually stayed at a hotel. Um, so that's that. Did we show them the renovation? Yeah, we showed them the renovations, but we didn't show them like since us moving here. But it's not really nothing to show y'all because we have not completed. Well, no, yeah. we we didn't show them like the new sink and the countertops and all of that stuff. But we are gonna show you guys that we still have some painting to do. But I think I'm gonna just show you guys, um, like the so far updates, and then y'all just kind of come along with this as yeah. we. Complete them. That'll be in another video, right? Yeah, another video. Oh, we need to change out the doorknobs. We still have not changed oh, out the doorknobs. Oh, we have a few things we gotta do. We yeah, gotta we haven't changed the doorknobs. We'll, 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 we'll talk about that in the video. Okay. We'll talk about that in the, the video. light fit. It's just bugging me. They're dusty. <laughs> you ready to rub these feet? Come on, no. Man, you tripping your damn uh, your feet all up in my ice cream? Where your ice cream at? Oh. <laughs> Ew, that nasty ice cream. It's nasty well, anyways. It's definitely nasty now. <laughs> Forget you. What was I talking about, y'all? Anna down 18 pounds. Come on. Oh yeah, babe lost 18 pounds. I it's kind of started at 258, and I'm down to 140. You ain't no down on no damn one nothing. I mean 240. Yeah, <laughs> go take it up a notch. 241. One more. So. Okay, I'm talking about some 140. You wish in I your mom's. Yeah, you would, would be. Really like you would be a slim gym, babe. 140. <laughs> Anyways, what else, babe? Uh, with we're without a car. 
We're missing a car. Yeah. Not missing a car, missing but a car. basically the car was parked on the road yeah, and the road. someone hit it and that it is totaled it. it. Yeah, and it's total. It it's total. Parked. This car was paid in full. Jesus. And it's not like we spent a lot of money on it in the first place. We actually but got back more from the insurance than, than, we, what we paid for. than what we paid for. Yeah, yeah. so that's kind of like a blessing in disguise. But as I mentioned before, we kind of don't know like if we're going to get another car or yes. yes, you need some you need some moisturizer. Some Vaseline for them folks. You got a Vaseline? No, right here. So. Uh, yeah, so the car is totaled. They totaled the vehicle and so they're gonna be coming to pick up the car in a very uh, Soon I mean what? <laughs> they're gonna be picking up the vehicle very soon and We didn't have that car for five, five years, years yeah. going on six years. That's crazy What we're doing is we are just hunkering down and just sticking with one car We were gonna do a rental from the insurance company, but they added more to our settlement uh, with without doing the rental. So we just decided to just hunker down with one car. We've done it before. Yep. I don't like it, but I think with a few adjustments and uh, just figuring getting out how used to, make it to work. it. Yeah, getting back used to it. There's really no way to make it work than to make it work. I want y'all to know I'm rubbing her feet because she said she'll do something for me later on tonight. It's something like. <laughs> what did I say? What else do we need to update them on? Logan is question mark years old. <laughs> question, Logan is nine question mark months old. Logan is nine months old. Officially nine Something months old. Like he will soon be ten months and he will then soon be one. Isn't it crazy how like you just have all these kids and then you just really be like losing track of time? <laughs> I really legitimately I don't even know if she's right like I don't know I don't know if old. I'm right either but I don't know how old that boy is y'all know when we had him we <laughs> had him in September last year so we how many months away from September all of them months October period. November December January and then he'll be one October November <laughs> December January February March April May June July so he's going on 10 months yeah and he's just doing so good like he he fits right in with his brothers and sisters and they uh <laughs> they spoil him and i know that sounds really weird but his brothers and sisters they be spoiling him for real especially that big sister yes dallas yep but uh and we are going to be having another baby Fuck out of here. <laughs> I just wanted to say that to see how you, how fast your head lifted up. I feel relieved. So far the vasectomy is working. It is. Is it working? It's working. Have, it, have we tested it? Have we, we have made sure that it's yes. shooting blanks? All the juices and all the berries. I am here to say that it is working and my uterus is thanking you. My uterus said Thank you, honey, for giving me a break. I was ready to retire. It's not even as long as you've gone without being pregnant. Uh, you no, it's not. A good year and some change. Two. Two years. The twins were, well, the twins were almost two when I found out about Logan. Granted, like every month we were like, oh, it's a period coming, it's a period coming, so. And now that you was, don't have that to worry about that. for two straight years. And now we don't even have to worry about it. And I know people are saying like, oh, you know, you can still get pregnant on a vasect with a vasectomy. No. Well, baby, so far, this vasectomy has been good to us. And I have not had to get on birth control whatsoever. And I want to thank you. Yeah, he is rubbing that H-E double hockey stick out of his feet and his leg. <laughs> he is rubbing that leg, honey, baby. Let me, let me tell you, baby. Ooh, yes. But we didn't really do much on this vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, press that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and leave a comment down below. I don't know, saying whatever you want to say. 
and i will see you guys we will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye <laughs>